In this lesson, you'll learn how to load a sheet of media. Keep in mind that this segment does not cover loading a carrier sheet. There is another segment that specifically covers how to load a carrier sheet. To start, notice the two blue push roller levers on the inner sides of the CE light cutter. If you look at the left lever, notice that it has two positions, position 0 and position 1. When the lever is in the 0 position, this indicates that the push rollers are up and media can then be loaded. On the other hand, when the lever is in position 1, this indicates that the push rollers on that side are locked down, which prevents media from being loaded or removed. If you look at the right lever, notice that it has four positions, position 0 through position 3, each with their own level of pressure. Position 0 indicates that the right side of the push roller bar is up, allowing for media to be loaded. Positions 1 through 3 indicate that the push roller is locked down on that side, which prevents any media from being loaded or removed. Selecting which position to use depends on the width of the media you are loading. For instance, position 1 is mostly for narrower materials, such as ones that are 8 inches wide. Position 2 would be for medium width materials, such as ones that are 15 inches wide. And position 3 is for wider materials, such as ones that are from 17 to 20 inches. If you are concerned as to which position to use, the CE light takes the guesswork out of it by letting you know what position the right lever should be at after it scans the right side edge. To load media, start by setting both levers to position 0. Next, locate the two push rollers on the push roller bar and spread out the center push roller rings evenly between the two push rollers. This will create continuity of pressure on the loaded media. Next, use the front edge of the sheet to align the push rollers by holding it up against the push rollers. This will allow you to first align the right push roller over the right edge of the media. To move the right push roller, Press the button on the push roller side and then slide it over so that the rubber wheel is aligned over the media's right edge. As for the left push roller, there are only two positions. When using a roll, align the push roller to the icon on the right. When using a sheet, align the push roller to the icon on the left. Since we are using a sheet, we can align it to the left icon, making sure that the rubber wheel is aligned with the left edge of the media. Next, turn on the cutter by pressing the power button if it is not already on. After that, take the sheet and slide it under and just past the push rollers. Align the sheet straight by aligning the left edge to the line marks on the front panel. There are two of them each with similar icons. If you plan to use roll media, use the right guideline labeled by the roll media icon. If you plan to cut sheet material, Align it with the left guideline indicated by the sheet icon. Once again, since we are using a sheet of material, we'll be using the left alignment guideline. At this point, we can lower the media levers on each side of the cutter. When both levers are down, this menu appears asking what type of material is loaded. In this case, we are loading a sheet, so we can press Sheet. Once pressed, it starts by detecting the front edge of the sheet and then scans the right edge. Here's where it will indicate to us which number to set the right push roller lever to. In this case, it is indicating we need to set it to position 2, which we will do now. And then it scans the rest of the sheet, which includes the back edge of the sheet. It then returns to the start point in the upper left corner, indicating it is now ready for cutting. The control panel will display the allowable cutting area of the sheet, and then bring it up to the main screen. To unload the sheet, just press the Unload Media on the control panel, and it will unload the sheet.